And that was All Saints. This is Late Lunch, live from the University College Isle of Man this afternoon. We're in Christie's Restaurant. Have you ever been in here before? You know what? I haven't. I've heard of it, and I know it was open to the public, and they do, sort of, they do some theme nights. I was listening, there's a French night coming up. I know, that's next week on the 11th. Yeah, tasting nights, a la carte menu, wonderful stuff. And this is all with the students who are training to be, as we were saying a little bit earlier on, the next generation of restaurateurs on the Isle of Man and who knows where. Exactly. So let's head through to the kitchen, shall we, where right. I think they're in the last sort of 20 minutes or so of the inter-island skills test, the first time that hospitality and catering has been involved in this. Um, I think last year we came and we saw the construction, construction students. Yeah. Uh, but let's look at this. Well look at this. Here we go. So there are judges all around circling like sharks. So let's just go through here. Oh, yes. And if we wander over here, Chris Franklin is in charge of all these students. Chris, how's it going? Yeah, good. Uh, so we're getting close to plating up time now. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. How long have they had all together? So they'll have an hour and a half all together. So yeah, last 15 minutes to go. And just tell us why <coughs> it's so important for these year two students to go through this process. Well, they don't have to. They've gone through it. They, they've, uh, they've applied for this, you know, voluntarily. So. It's not part of the course, it's something that we've done as, you know, the first year we've done it and these, these guys want to do it rather than us forcing them to do it, which is great for them. And you were telling us earlier that all these students are actually already working in kitchens around the island. Yeah, so we have all, all the guys that you can see now, they are in mostly hotels, this group. So we have guys from the Regency, the Claremont, uh, Premier Inn, the Empress. Uh, so that real it. life experience is invaluable, isn't it? So um, who are the judges then? Are, are they scary? Uh, <laughs> no, not really. So we've got Andy Parker, uh, who is former chef lecturer here. Uh, Calvin McNichol, who's patisserie lecturer, f well, former patisserie lecturer. William Carroll, who's chairman of uh, Isle of Man Food and Wine Circle. Peter Hayes, ex, again, ex lecturer. And Alex Hughes, who's a professional chef and one of my student colleagues. Here from years ago. That's 15 minutes, I think. I feel a bit tense. That they have. Yeah, just you 15 minutes left now to actually get their food, as you say, plated up. Yeah. Then what goes out for presentation, and then presumably it's going to be tasted. It is, yeah. So the, they'll present them to the judges, they'll put them next door into the restaurant, and the judges will taste and, and make the decisions. And we are standing next to a table full of awards here, and uh, they're going to be given out later this afternoon. Yeah, so the awards ceremony is at four o'clock in our main hall, and uh, sponsors, judges, will be there to present to the winners. And what's lovely is local companies really do get behind this to sponsor the event. Exactly, so we've had great support from Robinson's, A&J Butchers, and uh, other people like Manbend, uh, Nisbet's, Experience Restaurant, uh, of all givers, you know, really, really generous prizes. So we're really grateful of the support and it's, it's fantastic. And that's why the students wanted to take part. The, the prize money is, is excellent. And so all these students here today, obviously are wanting some of them, so most of them working as professional chefs already. In order to actually get the full training, what, there's three levels, is there, to go through? Yeah, so we've got level one students who took part this morning. These guys are the level twos and the level threes, are, are, they're just getting themselves prepared, yeah. I think the level threes, don't, they don't even know anything about what they're cooking, do they? No recipe or anything? There's no recipe. They get to walk in and have a look at some ingredients and then they'll, de they'll design a dish on the spot. So really, really going to be tough for them. But Rather them than me. Yeah, okay, yeah, Chris, thank you very much. Thank so we are, we're coming up to just 10 minutes to go until plating up. I think we've chosen exactly the right time to be here. It is. This is the right time. And you can see we're just looking around the kitchen now. It is. You can sort of feel the tension, but I would say there's no sense of panic at all, is there? Everything looks under control. The guys and girls there, you can hear some sort of scraping going on. Perhaps if I just move over here a little bit, we can take a look. I think there's a bit of uh, mashed potato work going on here. We get a little bit closer. Gosh, you can feel the heat from these burners as well. Yeah, it's just getting some uh, potato ready there. I'm looking over on the other side. We've got these enormous professional stoves which they use. You know, one, two, three, four, six huge burners going on. The heat, even from where we are, if you feel the heat in the kitchen. I know exactly what they mean there when they stand there. And wow, just coming up and getting ready, finishing touches, putting the meat together, putting the sauce together, and then plates are coming out in a moment. And there it is. Very exciting. And not one swear word have I heard yet. You know, it's not like a real kitchen you see on the telly. Uh, this is Late Lunch, live from UCN this afternoon. We will be back very shortly.